Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be with you with another project. And this one is sort of a home decor project, one that I really love, so I wanted to share it with you guys. I made this Bonnie banner for my office and I wanted to make one for my daughter for her bedroom. So I'm going to do it in some different colors with some different ribbon, but um, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to need is the stamp set beautiful banners and this is one of the sets that's on the retired list so I think after seeing this project and all the things that you can do besides just cards I think it's one uh, that would be really 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 good to get hold of so that is one stamp set we'll be using to do the letters in this in the um, banner we're going to be using the brushwork alphabet and this is a carryover item, so that we'll be using as well. And we will be using the banner framelit dies. This is also on the retired list, so I think that it's another item that's worth getting. So we'll be using that as well. We'll be using the basic black and basic gray for our ink colors. We'll be using the D block. I'm sorry, E block and A block for our stamps, paper snips, and the hole punch using the Stampin' Pure Smat to do our stamping, as well as the uh, Stampin' Cleaner for to clean our stamps. We'll be using the Big Shot to cut our framelits, and the Stampin' Trimmer to cut our paper. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I already finished four of the letters for my banner because I knew it would just take too much time. Didn't want you guys to have to wait through that. So my daughter's name is Lauren. So I did the U R E N and those are already done. So I will show you how I did those. I just cut a strip of the Whisper White cardstock so that I would be able to do the first two letters. And I'm going to grab the, the big banner stamp out of the beautiful banners, which I have right here. I'm going to be stamping that in the basic black ink. And since I have to do the L and the A, I will be stamping two of these at the same time. Stamp one up at the top. Hold for just a second or two and let that ink set. Looks great. We'll re-ink that stamp. And do a second one down here. If you have any upcoming occasions, showers, birthdays, just to decorate um, some kids' rooms, things like that. Holidays, you can use banners for anything. And of course, you can always use it on a card, put somebody's initial or uh, how old they are, and get into our brushwork alphabet. And I will be looking for the L and the A. Go ahead and do the A first. Put that on sideways. We'll go ahead and close the black up. So we're going to use the basic gray. Her bedroom is like a Notre Dame gray. So, and she also likes black. So I will go ahead and do the A. Hold that for a second or two. And I flip it over so that the letters look right side up to me so I can find a letter. That's the L. And then I'll stamp, or I'm sorry, I'll ink that up. Really good. And then let's do our last banner. Great. Okay, let's go ahead and close our ink. 
And the next thing we're going to do is cut out these two banner pieces. And out of the banner framelits, I'm going to use the, the third largest one. So if you count down from the largest one, it's the third one. And what I'm going to use to help keep that in place is some washi tape. Go ahead and put that where I want it. And I will go ahead and tape that. And then give me a second and I'll be right back with the big shot. Okay, so I have my big shot out and I went ahead and put the paper on using the thin die adapter since this is a thin die and I put that in that I'm putting the top plate on as well and I'm going to run that through and I usually run it through again for good measure and I'm sorry if my camera is shaking but I have it on the table and the table is shaking Okay, we'll take that one out and I will put the framelit on the L so we can cut that out as well. I really hope you guys go ahead and check out these, um, the banner framelits and the stamp set. I really think it's something that you would use a lot even if you don't have children. My daughter is 16, so she's sort of out of the stage of, um, you know, little kid stuff. But, you know, there's things to look forward to. Graduation and, you know, babies and weddings and showers and things like that. So you always, you're always celebrating no matter what age you are and what age your children are. Okay, so let's take that out. I'll go ahead and put my big shot back. Okay, let's go ahead and take the last letter out. Move that, move that washi tape. Okay. So there's our L. And we're done with the ramelets. Let's get all of our letters out. And what I did do ahead of time is the U-R-E-N, I punched the holes in it as well, just to save a little time. So I'll go ahead and I'll get my 1 8 inch hole punch. And I will just, I'm just eyeballing it. Just going to put two holes at each corner. Our 1 8 inch hole punch is still available. That is not on the retirement list. Our one quarter inch, and I believe it's still available, is retiring. So what I'm going to use is using the one eighth inch silver ribbon. And what I did was on one side, I tied a knot with a little loop so that I can actually hang that on a nail or whatever I choose to hang it on. And the other side, I didn't do anything to. And what I will do is start threading the banner pieces in. And I'm going to start with the last letter because that's going to go closest to the loop that I already made. You'll want to go through the second hole first, since this is going to be on the end. So you're going to come up from behind through the front, then into the first hole. Good. There we go. Straighten that out. We can really straighten them out where we want them when we're done putting all of them on. 
And it's got really twisted, but let's put that towards the end. Then we'll do the E. Come up from the back to the front. And then over to the left side and go back into that hole. And I will go ahead and do the rest and then I will be back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I finished putting the rest of the banner pieces on and I went ahead and I tied another loop on the end like I did on the first one to be able to hang it from nails or whatever you want to. So I think that's going to match my daughter's room really nicely and I hope she likes it because I had a lot of fun making it. And please go check out these items on my shopping page at bonnietcreations.stampinup.net and also head on over to my website at bonnietcreations.com. I have some items for sale, some retired items, um, things that are no longer available and those are for sale on my, um, my personal uh, web page. So you can check it out there and I hope you like this video and I hope you give it a try and see how many different ways you can use it and thank you so much for watching my videos. Please like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that as I release videos you'll get notification and if you want to come watch them you can and I will be seeing you really soon with another video. Thanks again for watching.